Hi there and welcome to Peacemake TV. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at another one of Visual Composer's widgets. We're going to be taking a look at the accordion option. So I'm back into my sample page in the administration of my WordPress installation and I'm ready to start adding these new components in. So I've got my blank row already inserted, ready to put my new widget in. So I'm going to click the plus like I've done before and we're just going to simply go to choose the accordion option. So that'll load the accordion up. Now this works in a very similar fashion to the video I did on tabs. We've got various different sections. We can add extra sections in there. And we edit it in two ways. We edit the accordion as a whole, which is what the blue context menu bar is, or the pop-up. And then we can edit each section independently, which is what the yellow pop-up is. So first of all, let's take a look at the settings we have for the accordion. So I'll click to edit. That'll bring the accordion settings up. And you can see we've got a range of different options available to us. And as with everything we've got in Visual Composer, pretty much every setting has a little context help underneath it to tell you what each one of these does. So you can see we can adjust the style. We've got a couple to choose from there. We can choose the shape, the color, and so on. So we'll leave that as it is for now. And we'll close that down. And we'll go in and create our first section. So we'll click to edit that. And that'll bring up the option specific to this particular accordion section. So you can see it's given us a title, it's given us a section ID which it automatically generates for us. We can add an icon in and if we want to style this with our own style sheet or our style sheet code, our CSS, we can add an extra class name so we can reference that specifically. But for now we're going to leave all that except for the title which we'll call settings. It save changes. There's our first accordion set section setup. So you can see settings. We're now ready to tell it what information we want inside that particular accordion block. So we can do that just simply by clicking the plus. And then we can just choose from any of the options we have available to us. So we can customize each of these individual accordion sections to our own specific requirements. So just for the ease, we're just going to insert a text block into this. We get the normal text block settings and I'll just pop in some, some predefined text. I'm not going to run anything else. Everything else is fine on if now. If I want to come back in and fine tune this, I can do. And we'll just repeat that now for the second section. So I'll click on section two below. You can see that brings up the same options, which we'll give it a, a name. We'll call this one widgets. It save changes. Plus, add in our text block. And then all we'll do is just paste in some more text. Save that. And then we'll update our page and go take a look at what that looks like on the actual front end of the website. So hit update. Okay, so we switched over now to the actual front end of the website. And you can see there's our new accordion. Settings is open by default. Hit widgets. And that will animate up and show us exactly what that looks like. So we can switch back and forth between the two. Pretty straightforward and works in a very similar fashion to the way that the tabs work. It's just a slightly different layout, but effectively the same functionality. Switch back over, we can come back in and edit any of these. So let's just take a little look at some of the different appearances. Now these generally are theme dependent. So you may find that some of these changes won't make much of a difference to your particular uh, style. You may have to come in and style those independently. So don't be disconcerted if you find that you change some settings in here for the style and the shape and nothing really happens. So let's just try, let's take a look at the modern one. And we'll just change the shape from rounded to square. And we'll change the color to Chino. That looks quite disgusting, but we'll go with that. And we'll hit Save Changes. Update our page. And once that's updated, we can switch back over to the front end of the site, refresh that page, and take a look at if those changes are showing up. So we've refreshed the page, and there's our slightly different. You can see we've got rid of the rounded corners. We've got the lovely Chino color now for each of our headings. And it operates in the same fashion. We switch back over and we'll just have a look at adding some icons. So let's just edit the set settings section or setting accordion. We'll say add an icon. Where do we want to position it? We can say before the title or after the title. We can use font awesome. And we can just quickly find something that we think is relevant. So let's just find something that has settings.
we'll find something it doesn't really matter what it is and that'll do and we'll hit save changes update our page switch back over to the front end refresh that page and we should find now we have the icon for our settings sitting just before the title we can easily set that before or afterwards by just specifying what position we want that in so it says before title or after title update come back and refresh let's just finish loading and that now sits after so pretty straightforward like i say it works in a very very similar fashion to the tabs you can customize it you can change the look of it you can add icons a whole host of different features well i found i hope you found this video useful if you have please hit the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel hit the like button below it all helps us out if you have any comments or feedback on this or any of the other videos or anything you'd like to see in future videos please pop that in the comment section below check out our new website wordpresstv.co.uk where you can find all of these videos plus more information specific to the wordpress tv website well i've been paul c for peacemake tv until next time take care